London Dinghy Show, RYA London Dinghy Show, here at the Alexandria Palace in the UK. It's the biggest dinghy show in the world, and they estimate thousands of youth are here. We've seen tons of them. So we're going to go inside and show you some of our favorite stuff. Okay. All right, so we're here at the London Dinghy Show with the Accra National Youth Spitfire Squad. And the Spitfire is this this uh, high-performance catamaran with the spinnaker that is behind the team here. And this is what they sail. So can you tell us a little bit, bit about this boat? Um, okay, it's a really fast catamaran. Um, it's twin trapeze, so both helm and crew are on the wire at the same time. Um, it's, you can handle it really well, yep. and it's easy to tuck and jive without like, killing contrary, anyone. Contrary to popular around. belief, we're actually quite fast at tacking and jiving. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. so. So, is it a, a youth boat or is it something the um, parents sail? Or? Well, mostly it's a youth boat at the moment, but we there are quite a few adults. So up in the sort of east near London, there's quite a strong team of adults, but they don't really travel anywhere. So it's mostly just the travelling band of youngsters most yeah. of the time. Wow. We, we're trying to encourage kind of the adults that have uh, Spitfires to kind of get yeah. out and come with us. And they wow. have they have started sort of coming down to Datchet with us, um, which is a reservoir um, near Heathrow. So. Yeah, it's, it's good. Cool. So this kind of boat, though, I mean, this isn't something that we're typically throwing 10-year-olds in the United <laughs> States. How old are you guys? Um, I'm 16. I'm 15. I'm 13. 13 and sailing this catamaran. And well, so... The, one of the crew is 11. Yeah. Wow, 11-year-old crew. And what do you guys think of this thing? Is it more exciting or is it about the same as everything else you've sailed? It's definitely more exciting. Um, on on PY, actually, we're the fastest boat in the youth sort of pathway thing yeah. that we've got going on here. Um, so we're definitely the most exciting boat. We have the sort of the best social I believe. Yeah, it's, personally. It's so much um, fun as well. There's it just is, kind it's of brilliant. And we're not like squads where we like where our coaches beat us up if we yeah. Have, yeah. if we don't eat properly <laughs> like that. Yeah. So it's all it's kind of kind nice and relaxed but very high tech at the same time. Yeah it's pretty nice. there's a lot of tactical stuff that we've got to learn for it so it's quite mentally taxing sometimes. Wow so what do your friends say when you show them pictures of you sailing this boat? Um, I showed a video to my PE class, um, so gym class I guess in the US, um, and their jaws just dropped. It was pretty cool to be honest. Wow. So everyone was quite shocked. It's very fast on the water. Awesome. As you can see on the video in a minute. Yeah, yeah, we're getting a little of that in the background. So if you had something you could say to the, the US youngsters who are sailing the Opti, the 420, maybe starting to think about catamarans, what would you tell them? Uh, get into it. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. There's such a good community going on here with this, the um, Spitfires in the UK yeah. and sort of cash rounds even there's, around the world when they meet up. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason that the US can't join in with that community yeah. as well. Awesome. Yeah, so what's next for this team then? You guys are working towards the Olympics or just um, like... At the moment we're working towards Youth Nationals, Eurocat, um, ESL Worlds and we are, I don't know if you know Ben Ainsley sort of of him. Yeah, I think we've heard of him. He's yeah. got some guys. Um, yeah. Ben Ainsley Racing and we might be doing some training sessions with them over the summer. Wow, which is very cool. Really yeah. cool. Yeah. Awesome. So where, where can people find more out about your team? Um, you can go to our Twitter, which is at Sail Spitfire, our Facebook page, which is um, Spitfire Sailing Association, I think. Or our, or our website, which is the UK Youth Catamaran. Page, okay. All right, and, and if the youth want to come over on, you guys call it holiday, right? Yeah, yeah. holiday. So can you, can you teach <laughs> them to like sail this? And Definitely, yeah, sure. Teach come them the accent? Holidays, brilliant. Yeah. For yeah. vacation. Every, every weekend, weekend now. Right, fly yeah. to Heathrow, because then you can come You can just come and sail across like the motorway. Five minutes later, later, you'll be at <laughs> yeah. while sailing. Now. You're always welcome here. Anyway. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. All right, thanks, guys. with uh, GP sales and we're looking at the NACRA F20, uh, the cat on stilts, it's on foils. So uh, Grant, can you tell us about your boat here? Um, yes, uh, as you can see, I mean the boat speaks for itself to a certain degree. It's new groundbreaking stuff, it's, uh, it's a cat on steroids, it's the old uh, NACRA 20 modified with J foils, all America's Cup style, miniaturized. Um, makes a fantastic stable foiler. Um, it's just, it just puts a huge, huge grin on your face every time you set foot on it. Yeah, so I imagine. So you, you get it up, you get foiling, you're flying, but but uh, how fast are you going when the sink starts to top we've, out? We've sailed it with a GPS 
most of the time that we maxed out at 27 and a half knots. Wow. Um, the boys in Holland, they've been experimenting, they've been sailing in really windy stuff, they've been sailing three up and they've, they've hit 30 knots plus. Wow. So have you guys drag raced any moths or kiteboards lately? We we haven't raced much. We've raced conventional cats and it's just almost a waste of time. You know, we are right. so much quicker. Have you guys crashed it yet, send it in for end? We've We've uh, not had any real big moments. The first time we ever went out, we were all over the place. We were learning to foil, we were blue and hull in the air. We were, you know, we didn't know what the hell was going on. Uh -huh. But um, the main thing it'll do is just crash off its foils and then it just it just lands flat on both hulls. It's, it's not too dramatic. Excellent. So what would you say to somebody that's maybe got a catamaran now that's thinking maybe it'd be neat to fly in the air? Do it. Basically, do it. You'll, uh, it's the hard thing for me is I've sailed F-18s and tornadoes and all those sort of boats for 20, 30 years, and it's got to be very hard going back to that sort of stuff. That it makes that sort of sailing very dull, unfortunately. Gotcha. So you see this catching on with the F-18 boys, or are they going to keep I doing what they're doing? I see. I see it becoming really big in the next couple of years, and I see. Um, Probably going to see some different sort of racing emerge. I'm sure. I'm not quite sure what yet. Um, just seeing a 30 of these racing together is going to be quite something. Yeah. It really is something we could put on TV. I bet at that point. I think it would be. I think it'll, you, know, you never know. You might see these racing them alongside the Extreme 40 circuit or something like that. Possibly. Awesome. Well, great. Thanks a lot for your time. Okay. Thank you. sail a lot hotter boats than what we're used to in the States. We've got this as a catamaran made by RS. It's a 16 foot catamaran. It's got an option for a double trap and a kite that comes with it, which is pretty awesome. Cross beams, the mast, everything that you see that's not soft comes right from Selden, which is pretty cool. Didn't know if you guys knew that we made all that stuff. Um, but it's a, it's a really slick rig and it's, it's easily sailed by a crew of two. And it's easy, even easy to reef down if you got it for a program boat. So uh, this is the boat that they come out of what everybody calls the Tapa which is a small single hand boat similar in size to the Optimus that everybody sails over here. And then they get in a catamaran like this and start stacking the accessories, extra wires, the kite, bowsprit, etc. So it just levels up as they grow. Very cool.